Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. So this video is actually going to be one of my first videos on the wives of the Prophet sallallahu wasallam. It is going to be a series of videos based off of a paper I wrote on the wives of the Prophet and the paper was based off of the tafsir of um, Ibn Kathir on the wives of the Prophet. If you would like further information on the wives of the Prophet, I definitely suggest that you look up um, Ibn Kathir, wives of the Prophet, rather than making a Google search or something along those lines. Um, so if you would like to continue watching this, it's wonderful. I'll have um, videos that are on all 11 wives. This first video is going to be on Khadija and um, Sauda. So that's what I'm going to be specifying on. And then my next video is going to be on Aisha. Uh, as many sources will explain, the beloved Prophet, um, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or may peace and blessings be upon him, had 11 wives. Um, however, many sources, and most often Western sources, will not give more information on the wives, and we'll try to make the bull of a prophet sallallahu alaihi into some sort of man that had a harem of women. This idea, however, is incorrect, and um, though the prophet sallallahu alaihi had eleven wives over his lifetime, each one of them was important to him and also to Islam. And the common misconceptions about them are easily explained or proven false with enough research. The first wife of the prophet was a woman by the name of Khadija radiallahu anhu. May Allah be, um, may Allah be pleased with her. Um, Khadija radiallahu anhu surprisingly enough proposed to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam after he traded for her um, after he traded for her in Syria in her stead. And by doing this, the prophet gained her trust. She had previously gained her wealth due to the death of her father, Khuayyid, and her previous husband. She inherited their wealth and married the prophet at the age of 40. Together, they had a total of six children, two sons and four, da four daughters. And how but however, the sons, Qasim and Abdullah, both died in their infancy. Um, the most famous of their daughters, Fatima, would go on to marry one of the Prophet's successors and the first male convert to Islam, Ali. Um, moving on, Khadija is the most well known for the comfort she gave to the Prophet during his revelations. And it is amazing what you can read on um, Khadija and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because there's so many, there are multiple stories about them and Hadith and everything that have gone on to explain their relationship and it was amazing the comfort and like the kindness that she had to him and the loyalty even though she's having somebody come to her and say first off during um, his first revelation yelling cover me up cover me up because Khadija um, was at home and that he was the only person he could go to and Khadija um, peace and um, peace be upon her covered him and held him and he told the story of the revelation and from he he told the revelation story from the angel of Jibreel and the first ayah that was um, revealed to Muhammad sallallahu wasallam said read in the name of your lord who created created from a clot read and your lord is the most gracious who taught with the pen taught man what he did not know um, that's Quran 96, um, 1 through 5. Um, and she was shocked, though she kept calm and listened attentively to him. And after this, um, Khadija actually took Muhammad to see her cousin, her cousin, Waraja, who informed Muhammad of his status of being the seal of the prophets, making the event that happened to him more real by validating it. And Khadija, Muhammad, and Waraka, um, were filled with excitement, though Muhammad was concerned for um, his own welfare. And shortly after this, Khadija openly accepted Muhammad's message and teachings in the public, and she became the first convert to Islam. So that's another thing to really remember about Khadija, is that she um, was the first prophet to Islam, and it's amazing because she remained loyal to him throughout her life. And because of the trials that Khadija radiallahu anhu was faced with during their marriage um, because of the love and admiration and care she showed towards Muhammad. 
in the darkest of times for him. She's considered the dearest wife to the Prophet wasallam. And after her death, Muhammad um, mourned and became very lonely. And it was really, really hard on him because this was his first wife. And at this time, she'd only he'd only take it on her. And it was really difficult for him to go through, especially with him being the seal, having learned that he's the seal of the prophets. Um, and he was left only with his four dear daughters who reminded him of her. And that was difficult too. And he yearned for the companionship that Khadija had um, provided for him for 25 years. 25 years is a long marriage. If your parents have been married for 25 years, you should definitely praise them because, mashallah, 25 years is a very long time and after that it's very difficult to part from somebody you've been with. Due to this loneliness, Muhammad wasallam, took on another wife, Sauda, radiallahu anhu, and Sauda was described by Ibn Kathir as a middle-aged, rather plump, with a jolly, kindly disposition and just the right person to take care of the Prophet's household and family. After her previous husband died in combat, Sauda was living with her elderly father, and she accepted the proposal of the Prophet and took care of his, of his children as if they were her own, and the marriage was a surprise to the, um, to the people of Mecca because they expected the Prophet to take another wife um, that was young and beautiful. And so this shows you some character about the Prophet Wasallam. He wasn't just looking for some young, beautiful woman that's just, you know, another, uh, you know, another wife to feel, um, fulfill Khadija's place. He actually took on a woman who would help take care of his children, help be um, a provider to his household, and he, um, he really cared about her too so much that when um, the Prophet وسلم, later took on more wives, he offered to divorce Sauda anhu, because he was worried that she would become more jealous of the younger wives. Um, however, Sauda rejected this offer because she, quote, only wanted, um, only want to be his wife on the day of rising. And that's a quote from Ibn Kathir. And she gave up her night privileges to his younger wives, such as Aisha. Um, as she became older due to the fact that she felt that they were more privileged for um, for courting and for being with the Prophet at night. And Sauda lived a long life and continued to care for the Prophet's um, family even as he took up more wives. Sauda anhu, is also known for being close to the Prophet's youngest wife, Aisha. Um, so inshallah I will be making a video about Aisha and that video will be just about Aisha because there is a lot to talk about with her. Their relationship was very special, though each um, of the relationships that um, Muhammad uh, had with his wives was very special. Though Aisha also has some controversy around here, which I will discuss with you in the next video, inshallah. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be wonderful. I will also post links to my Twitter and to my Tumblr if you would like to add me on there. And inshallah, you'll see, you'll stay for the next video. Masalam and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.